We'd like to welcome in a very special guest this morning, all-star, silver slugger, gold glover, the list goes on and on for this St. Louis Cardinal legend, World Series champion Adam Wainwright. Thanks so much for joining us this morning. Thank you for having me on, guys. Actually, that list is not complete. Another award you've won most recently in 2020, you were honored with the Roberto Clemente Award, given to the MLB player who best exemplifies the game of baseball, sportsmanship, community involvement, the individual's contribution to his team, I'd like to ask you a little bit about some of that community involvement, specifically about your foundation, foundation, Big League Impact. Tell us a little bit about that. Yeah, that's a foundation I started in 2013 with my brother Trey. Um, I had run a golf tournament for eight years for the Fellowship of Christian Athletes, so it was a great time. I was ready to do something different. Um, also, uh, my wife and I had really searched through all the different charities and nonprofits and gone to cancer balls and to children's hospitals and a lot of wonderful things that that uh, is very vital. We were trying to find the thing that kept us up at night. You know, we were trying to figure out what exactly spoke to us as far as a giving platform. And uh, we partnered with a group called Water Mission um, at one point. And, and uh, we'd done some wells and stuff before, but this was a little bit different. Water Mission not only do they they dig the well and whatever they they it's a it's a water treatment facility provides two jobs in the community um it's self-sustaining solar powered uh it's 99.99 percent clean water and when we did this um the people of the of the area it was 1500 people the waterborne illness was essentially gone 92 percent gone within the next eight months from this and we just started thinking, man, not having clean water is one of the biggest killers in, in the world today. I mean, it's just something we in America totally take for granted. So we started thinking, what are the other things, the basic essential needs that are out there that people are struggling with right now that they don't have and they, they don't have access to and they're, and they're going to die if they don't get it? Is it the food? Is it clean water? Is it shelter? Is it clothing? Is it medicine? And so those basic essential needs, the more and more we did it, the more we worked with those programs doing those things, it really became clear that that is what we were supposed to be doing. So the heart of the mission uh, for behind Big League Impact was we realized it's not just internationally that people need help. And it's not just uh, here locally that people need help. It's everywhere. And so um, the first year we we in 2013 i think it was the first year we we had a fantasy football draft it was an idea i had um in the in the outfield one year i was standing by skip schumacher in the outfield and i said dude i think we need to have a fantasy football charity nobody nobody's ever done anything like that and we all do it we could raise a lot of good money we could it would be great and uh, we started talking about it and so it came to fruition my brother walked away from his high paying law job and helped me start this up um, for the first couple of years. And, uh, it's just really impactful. We were able to, the first year we were able to give a clean water, um, program in Honduras, Coyolas Adia, Honduras. And we were also able to feed, I don't remember what the number was, thousands of kids in St. Louis with backpacks full of food to take home for their families on the weekends when because a lot of times kids eat at school and they don't eat very well when they go home they don't have anything there's a lot of food insecurity in our country that nobody really knows about right like so unless you're unless you're going through it um and so that was the first year and so since then we've branched out a lot we've we've partnered with a lot of many different players across major league baseball we uh we've had four million people across the united states a couple years ago through a a thing called the home plate project with the help of every big league team in baseball and so we've We've come a long way and we've done a lot of fun events uh, to help us get there. Yeah, I know you have some huge supporters here in central Illinois, specifically some diehard Cardinals fans in our area. You're actually going to be in town on February 6th. Tell us a little bit about what's going down at the Boondocks pub. Yeah, well, winter warm-up got canceled um, and I just thought, you know, it wasn't fair to all the fans. It's not the fans' fault that we go through labor negotiations. It's not the fans' fault that we have COVID problems. And, and so a lot of different reasons why when a warm up got shut down, but I just felt like it, you know, it wasn't fair to the fans to not be able to get some FaceTime with one of their, one of their players, one of their guys. And, and, uh, I thought, you know what? I called our guy, Keith Brooks from big league impact. And he's our director. And I said, Keith, what can we do? I'd like to come up there and sign autographs 
for my standard two hours? Is it, is it just a, a signing? What, what do we need to do? Cause I could bring a buddy of mine and we could have a little show. And he's like, well, what are you thinking about? Like, and I said, well, I mean, my neighbor is Dallas Davidson. He's written 27 number one hit songs. Um, I could ask him if he would come up and play a little show for us and I could sign autographs for my standard two hours and we could just talk baseball and have a great night. And uh, he said, well, that, that sounds like a great time, you know, let's do that. And so that's how it came about. I just, you know, I just have such a heart for our, our wonderful fans and uh, such a heart for a big league impact and the things that we're trying to help too. I thought, you know what? It's all for charity and, and maybe we can get up there and have a great time and raise a lot of money for people in need. Yeah, all the proceeds going towards Big League Impact. So tell us, how could people get tickets if they'd like to go on February 6th? You can get tickets at bigleagueimpact.org. Um, it's, it's, there's a sign-up page right on there. There's different sponsorship levels. And I got to tell you, too, the Boondocks event in Springfield, one of the reasons we went to Springfield, Carol Keating, who's on the board of Big League Impact, owns that with her husband. And they donated the entire night for us. They're they, they donated the venue. They're donating every dollar that's raised is going directly to Big Lee Impact. So uh, it made total sense to go there. It's a wonderful venue. My guy Dallas knew about that event. It's a, where a lot of really big time performers come through there. Um, it's a great venue. So uh, come see us, bigleagueimpact.org for tickets. Uh, like I said, there's different sponsorship levels. You can bring 10 people, get a big table, get access to um, VIP access behind the stage and with me beforehand. And, and, uh, it's going to be a great time. I'll be there pretty much all day signing and talking baseball. So, um, we're going to have a great time. Adam, really, we've all been amazed by your resilience on the mound, uh, especially these last couple of seasons, but it really is incredible to hear about all the work you and big league impact are doing in the community as well. And we're especially excited that you're coming here to Springfield. Uh, so one more time, what time on the sixth at, at the boondocks? I'll be there from like uh, two to four, I think, signing. Perfect. And then the concert starts at five or five thirty. It's right around there. Yeah. Uh, but all the information is on the website. Um, it's on there. You can see it. There's different sponsorship levels. We love for people to come and get autographs and see a good show and and uh, and and all those things that we do. I always try to go see. Um, so the the initiative in, in Honduras and Haiti and Dominican, all the wonderful things we've done across those uh, countries and the the events here in St. Louis. Um, I want to go take pictures, take people who have sponsored and, and show you where the impact has made, show you where exactly where your dollars are going. So we try to be super efficient with everything we do. We try not to waste any dollars and, and uh, make people's money go as far as it can. So we're going to have a great time. I'd love for people to come up there and see us. I, I love Cardinal Nation. I love kind of getting outside the city too. And those winter warm up caravans were always really fun for me. So um, we're going to have a good time. Can't wait to see people. Yeah, we got a big fan base here in Springfield. I know they can't wait to see you as well again, February 6th. Adam, thanks so much for joining us. Best of luck with everything with the negotiations going down. And we hope that you do have a wonderful season as well. Thank you very much. I think we'll work it out. Hopefully it does. But either way, we'll be ready to play whenever the bell, when the bell rings. All right, Wayno. Thanks so much, man. Okay, see you guys.